Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz and we've got some new tanks in the store and we're going to start off with this one, the T6E1, an American tier 4 medium tank, it's a premium tank and it's going on the store at the moment for approximately £10, give or take. Now, it doesn't have any equipment unlocked, it comes with an avatar and a garage slot and a tank basically, and a bit of premium. What is it about? Well, as you can see, the damage isn't great. The rate of fire isn't great. Penetration is pretty average. The armor is pretty average. The speed isn't bad. And the rotation is okay. So it's not looking great so far, but what about the actual stats when we get into it? I mean, let's have a look at those. So let's have a look. We got 500 hit points. Uh, the armor's not great, as you can see, but it's a tier four. View range, uh, pretty middle of the road. Concealment, uh, camera profile is just below average, to be fair. DPM, 680 per minute, not brilliant at all. Reload time, just shy of 11 seconds, which is huge. Penetration, AP, 94, APCR, 131, HE, 42, not great. Average damage, AP, 120, APCR, 105, HE, 140. Not great. Aiming time, 3.6. And the elevation and depression. Well, depression is fantastic. It's a whopping 10 degrees. Speed-wise, well, you get 42 out of it going forward, 16 going backwards with an average speed of about 32. Now, this is the tank in all its glory, and it basically looks like a ram with a derpy gun. But the gun is not derpy it's just small and stubby look at the depression on this thing 10 degrees 20 degrees elevation i mean don't get me wrong it looks nicest tank i mean it's got three massive machine guns at the front which are just there for aesthetics armor wise well you can see the turret is pretty solid but everything else well middle of the road i mean it's not thin front on, but it's not exactly rock solid. This is it against a Panzerkampfwagen half D, and as you can see, it can pretty much be penned all over the place. It's a, not a great tank, let's be honest. So what's it like when you put it into a game? Well, a couple of things. Firstly, don't forget guys, you're spending a tenner on this. You know, it's, it's approximately £10, uh, give or take. Um, and it's a tier 4, so it's not exactly the cheapest tank in the world. Realistically, I mean, if this would have been going on for gold, then, okay, different kettle of fish. Or if they could have put this as a different event tank, again, different kettle of fish. But it's not an event tank, and it's not a gold tank. It's a real cash tank. And that's the thing. Now, when you come to sell this tank, if you want to sell it, you'll get 300,000 credits that works out about 750 gold but this tank costs more than 750 gold i mean this tank effectively in real terms is costing you about 4000 gold so the, the value of this tank is only 750 and well you know that that says a lot that really does say a lot, because if you're buying a tank that's only worth 750 gold for 4,000 gold, wow! You know, it goes to show that the tank is slightly overpriced. Now, what about its style of play? Well, it's got really good gun depression. It's got a long reload, guys. I mean, it's it's just shy of 10 se of 12. <laughs> I'm sorry, 11 seconds. I mean, it's long. It's okay as a tank, but it's not 10, you know, it's not 10 pounds worth of okay. And the chances are, you know, I mean, don't forget, Wargaming nerfed the low tiers for 5.5 .5 to stop seal clubbing. So what is the point of this tank? It's, you know... <laughs> The only people who are going to enjoy it are new players or seal clubbers. It's as simple as that. It's tier four. And whilst it's a pleasure to drive to an extent, nobody's really going to play this 
after they've moved through the tier. I mean, how many people are going to go back to tier four in real terms? I mean, it it seems a lot of money and a waste of money, to be honest with you. And had I not been doing this video, um, I would be very disappointed. Well, I'm disappointed anyway in the tank. You know, when you drop ten pounds on a tank, you expect it to bring something different to the tier and be enjoyable. I mean, really? A tier 4 tank? I mean, it's tier 4. Okay, it makes some nice credits, but it's a tier 4 tank. That's going for a tenner. That's going for basically 4,000 gold that you're only going to get 750 back for. And, you know, it's, it's a pointless tank. It would have been okay. It's a night, you know. It brings a different tank to the tier. Yes, it does. And it's released. It's an American tank. It's a medium tank. It's a premium tank. And it's obviously been released just in time for the American Independence Day, which is uh, the July the fourth. Which is why there's a shed load of American tanks in the store at the moment. <laughs> One of which is coming up in another video, which is the T28 HTC concept. Now. You know, I mean, that, interestingly, is being sold for gold. And that's being sold for 6,000 gold. That's a tier 7 tank. This is tier 4 for 4,000 gold. 2,000 gold cheaper than a tier 7 tank. They need their heads red. Wargaming have lost the plot slightly. This tank is a tank you do not need and is a tank I strongly, in the strongest of terms, tell you not to buy. Do not waste your money. Seriously, guys, do not buy this tank. It's a travesty for the price and for what it brings to the game and for what it's worth and if you buy it well that's your call you know i my advice to you is don't buy it if you really want it wait because this will come back again and it'll be next to nothing if you buy this now you'll play a game in it and within seconds you'll kick yourself and call yourself the world's biggest fool because you will be, <laughs> in all honesty. So I implore you, save your catch. Don't buy this tank. Really, do not buy this tank. Simple as that. Because if you do, guys, you know, I mean, this is this is the second tank they've released uh, for that, that you have to buy. They, they released the Tiger 131 for... 20 pounds and now this one for 10 pounds and the tiger is a tier 6 these are relatively lowish tier tanks okay they're new tanks while well, the tiger's not low and this isn't really i mean this is like a ram chassis with um you know a similar type of turret but with a different gun and it's not even a derp gun i mean it, it's it's a pants gun really and it, it's marketed as the reliable TE6, sorry, T6E1. Where, well, where's the reliability, <laughs> in all honesty? I mean, I, the only reliability I know is this. You'll regret spending £10. So, for the love of God, don't do it. And believe me, you'll thank me for that. Because the only thing that this tank has got in its favour is the gun depression. Nothing else. Uh, I, I'm serious. It has nothing else going for it. Um, you know, I played a few games in it, and that'll be it now. I'll, I'll, I'll hang this up. I, I won't play it again. Maybe very rarely if somebody asks me to. But aside from that, guys, uh, the chances of me playing this tank again are really slim. Now I've done the review. And, um, you know, I'm sat here thinking, wow, I spent a tenner on this. I live in Dubai. That's two pints of beer. Yeah, two pints of beer. I wasted on this. 
and the beer would have probably lasted longer um, enjoyment wise to be fair uh, you know, okay as I said it's got nice gun depression but look at the reload I mean this is tier 4 and you're only knocking out 120 um, against tier 3s okay you're gonna knock it into oblivion you know with you know you know against some tier 4s then yeah it's good fun but it, this is not a, a must-have this is a I've got too much money or I've got too many few brain cells to know better and again guys I implore you I seriously implore you do not buy this tank it is underwhelming overrated and overpriced and you know I can say that because I'm not affiliated to more gaming uh, you know I don't have a press account I, I, I have no affiliation with them whatsoever and I'm just telling you as it is and I'm seriously telling you guys it's this is a waste of money it's a complete waste of money uh, don't get me wrong I mean yeah you know I had a couple of good games in it and that's about it and um, would I say those games were enjoyable to an extent were they edge of the seat me sat there thinking wow I'm so glad I spent 10 pounds on this thing absolutely not so I really can't get this message across don't buy this bloody tank but it's your money if you wish to buy it then who am I to tell you otherwise all I'm saying is I wouldn't bother I mean, that's been the T6E1, an underwhelming tank that's expensive and pretty pointless, in my opinion. Anyway, I've been Fujit. By all means, comment, like, send me your thoughts um, below. If you haven't already, press subscribe. Uh, it's a nice thing to do. And then you can take part in my gold giveaway competition, where there's a link at the end of this video. By all means, send me your replays, fujitsblitz at gmail.com, or join my Discord. And until the next time, I will say my usual, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.